Hi, I'm Aaron Brothers, Director of Music Ministry at Dixon United Methodist Church. Now that I've had a little time to digest the fact that this is indeed a new week with new possibilities, I take up my post again with this devotional. It would be silly to say that I believe that God sees the year in the same calculated terms as those who hooked us up with this ancient Julian calendar. The very first chapter of the very first book of the Bible, with its first few verses, says, When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was without shape or form. It was dark over the deep sea, and God's wind swept over the waters. God said, Let there be light, and so light appeared. God saw how good the light was. God separated the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and there was morning, the first day. I mean, God created day and night. Humans decided what they would be called and how they would seamlessly fit into segments to represent one full earthly rotation or revolution. I get slightly amused at the superstition people showed when I told them that Amon was due on Halloween. Um, you're going to induce before that, right? Yeah, you really don't want your son to be born on the day of Satan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he came of his own accord on a different date anyway, but that's not the important part. We humans decided which days would represent which holidays and which symbols would stand for those holidays, and even though someone might have tried to run those ideas past the Almighty, I'm not sure how much say God actually had. So, when I look back at 2020 in all its royal crappiness, it amuses me to think that 2020 will be over in a couple of months, and 2021 will be so much better, you know, because the number changed, right? It will be better. It's gotta be. 2020 has been abysmal thus far. I struggle as someone who has noticed how bad 2020 has been for so many people, not to just toss the year out with the garbage. I struggle as someone who feels things intensely with the people who are constantly telling me to look on the bright side when I need to grieve. I could give you the bullet points of every single thing that has contributed to the suck fest of 2020, but I won't. It has sucked. It has. And I'm grieving losses I never thought I would endure but I'm making a choice. It will not be a choice I'll be able to stick to every day, but more something to aspire to. Call it a resolution, if you will. I'd really just prefer to stick with choice. Anyway, semantics aside, I'm choosing to look back on 2020 as the year I learned to hope. Not just hope like, I hope I make more money, or I hope I get a pony for Christmas, but hope that I could turn my anger, hurt, and sadness into something more valuable. Hope that transforms nations by changing one person at a time. I don't anticipate that this will be a transformation that is as simple as 11.59, 2020, 12 o'clock, 2021. I imagine it will be a choice I'll have to remind myself that I made every day for the rest of my life. There will be mornings I wake up in despair and will want to make a different choice. There will be days I do make a different choice. The beauty of this choice is that I'm not the only one who can make it. And on the days when I choose to be something other than I should be, there will be others who made the choice to help me remember who I am. A child of God, redeemed in Christ, who sometimes believes that the difference of a year, month, week, day, minute, or even a second can wipe the slate clean so we can all start anew and make a choice to live forward with hope.